Hey, this is Rick and welcome back to a, uh, another tip. This is going to be a money savings tip. I hope it saves you a lot of money in the long run and I thought I would just pass it along. This is going to be on LED energy saving light bulbs. When these first came out, they were a little more expensive than they are now. I know with like Home Depot, your bigger box stores, Lowe's and Walmart, places like that, they have come down, but this is the best deal that I've found around. Uh, even ordering online, I couldn't beat this price. These are made by Sunbeam. They're warm white. So Says they're suitable for enclosed fixtures, LED energy saving bulbs, says it'll last 22.8 years, and it'll save you around $140 based on that 22.8 years. I don't know if they're going to last 22.8 years. I think these things are kind of uh, misleading a bit, depending on how much they're used in your home. But they are energy saving, and they do last quite a while over the old incandescents and then the CFLs. This is the 60 watt replacement, meaning it's only going to use 9 watts actual, but it's equivalent to a 60 watt bulb meaning incandescent or fluorescent. The brightness is 800 lumens and the estimated energy cost is going to be about a dollar eight per year. That's pretty good. You put a bunch of these in your home, uh, they can save you in the long run. So they can be used for indoor and outdoor. Of course it's got I guess in Spanish on the other side here and it tells you what fixtures they can be used in such as paddle fans and your ceiling drop lights and exterior fixtures like we talked about. So the light appearance will be in the warm spectrum at 3000 K. Now a lot of people use these for like grow lights and stuff like that instead of having those funky LEDs which are blue and red. These work just fine and I've actually used them in that capacity myself. If you look back on some of my other videos, maybe I'll put the links up there at the top of some of my grow videos and you can check those out uh, when you get a chance. So let's go ahead and unbox these. If you're not familiar with LED lights, they do have a plastic globe on the outside, which nice about these is they won't break or anything like that. You can bounce them around, they can drop on the floor and you don't have to worry about kids uh, having glass all over the place or creating a mess or getting any glass in your fingers or anything like that. Like I said, they are made by Sunbeam, they are UL approved. They have it listed on the side there, which is good, so it's not just some Chinese knockoff. Now, we've come a long ways. I'm 52 years old, so this is what I started out with. I don't go back as far as the Edison bulb, <laughs> so this is what we started out with, which were just incandescent bulbs. These do last a while. They are cheap right now, but like I said, if they drop, it's going to break. That glass is going to go all over the place. And for energy consumption, these use a lot more energy and you're going to pay a lot more money on your utilities by having these all throughout your house. So we're done with those. So then the next progression was the CFLs, which is these here. CFL stands for Compact Fluorescent Light. These were great. They're more energy efficient than the incandescent, so that was a nice step up. The only problem is these are filled with caustic chemicals that we really don't want in our landfills or in our bodies. They actually have mercury in them. And once again, these have glass. So if they fall and break, you're going to get glass all over the place. We did upgrade our home, I guess, about three years ago to these. When this phase came in, that everybody needed these for energy efficiency. So that's what we had. So now I've recently replaced them with these, the LED bulb. Like I said, it's got a nice hard plastic bulb surround on there. And if you take that surround off, this is what you're left with. These are the LED chips, and you can see them going around in a circle there. That's with the globe taken off. If you want to know how to take this off, I have another video for that. I'll put that up there also, another link, and you can check that video out. So that's what they look like when you take the globe off, and they're quite bright. And the LED stands for Light Emitting Diode. That's how you come up with the term LED. So what you're really tuned in for is you want to save some money. Like I said, these are made by Sunbeam. You can get these at Dollar Tree. They are a dollar a bulb. You got it. You heard it right. One dollar a bowl. If they don't have them in stock, go online and you can order them and have them shipped directly to your Dollar Tree at no cost. They'll keep them there for you. They're prepaid. You just come in with your receipt that you ordered them and you can show that you ordered them online and you can get them in a packet of 12 if they're not stocked on the shelf. But these things are great and they work out perfect. I'll go ahead and I'll show you. We'll go ahead and screw one into this fixture here and we'll turn it on. And you can see that sucker is bright. And it's instant on. There's no period like the fluorescent lights were where they kind of flicker and then they go on and then get brighter. That's instant on. I'll show you by just unscrewing it. Turn it back on. 
and that's it. So if that's all you tuned in for, that's that part of the video. You got your answer. Go to Dollar Tree and you're good to go. Now for you techies out there, we're going to go a little bit further. I have what's called a power meter here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug this power meter in. Put it there. And it lights up right there. This is going to tell me the wattage so we can make sure that we're definitely getting the full true wattage that the uh, manufacturer recommends. They're saying that the watts are going to be 9 watts like we said. So let's see if they're right. We'll plug it into the watt meter. Let it heat up a little bit. So if you can see that right there hopefully without me blinding you it says 8.1 watts. So it's only one watt off. Now I may still have to heat up a little bit but that's pretty darn close. I've tested other bulbs. You can check out those reviews on my channel. And some of those Chinese knockoffs don't even come close. So for you techies there, it's coming in at 8 watts. So that's it. That's my review. I hope that helped you all out. Um, hey, thanks for watching. Once again, please subscribe. Subscribe button's right down here in the corner. Click that baby, then you never know what kind of video I'm going to pop up next. Take care.